Tracking the Mexican cartel's drug network in the U.S. is a top priority for the DEA. The agency says most drugs in the country containing fentanyl come from the southern border. Fox's Rebecca Castor sat down with one of the top drug investigators in the southeast. She's live in New Orleans. The city of the DEA says it's a gateway for drugs to be distributed to other states. Rebecca. Courtney Rest, New Orleans is nearly 700 miles from the Mexico border. And while you may not be able to see the cartel here, the DEA says their associates are. That's the Jalisco New Generation Cartel and the Sinaloa Cartel. And these two cartels are driving the, the drug overdose epidemic. Special agent in charge Brad Byerly is the head of the New Orleans DEA field division, which oversees drug investigations in Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Alabama. A lot of the drugs that we seize all come from um, the border, the interstate system, I-10, I-55, in Arkansas, I-30, I-40, I-65 in Birmingham. All of these are major drug trafficking routes. In a recent year-long investigation called Operation Last Mile, the New Orleans Field Division seized over 147,000 fentanyl pills and 63 pounds of fentanyl powder. That's enough to take out the metro New Orleans area. We went after what we call the last mile, that being from the cartel to the local distributor. Nationwide, the DEA arrested over 3,300 drug distributors and dealers as part of the operation. Many of these arrests happening on U.S. highways, similar to this traffic stop turned drug bust in Arkansas. That pills? That's in 30s. Or fentanyl. But the reality is millions of fentanyl pills are making it to U.S. cities. The coroner in St. Tammany Parish, Louisiana, sees firsthand what happens when these drugs make it past the last mile. If you'd like to walk back to the morgue, I can show you the results. In 2023 alone, 32 of the 48 drug overdoses in St. Tammany Parish include fentanyl. Dr. Charles Preston says the drug is only getting stronger. We recently, within the last month, uh, were able to identify some, some fentanyl cousins, if you will, uh, that are generally more potent and more deadly. And social media is also making things easier for the cartels. The DEA calls it the super highway and says they've uh, traced drug deals on 45 different social media platforms. The